<laughs> yeah, good mate. Tied them on. Oh, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Are you joking me? Come and have a look at this. Beautiful mangrove, Jack. Welcome back to my lure box, folks. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through all the reasons why I just love this boat loader system. I've recently done a video on the system, taking it off the roof, showing you how it works, and uh, it's making all the difference with our travels this year. We're now in Western Australia, running along the beautiful coastline with all these reefs, and we're getting the boat on and off where we're stopping and staying and fishing and snorkeling. It's just been fantastic. But uh, this boat loader system is making all the difference. I've had a lot of questions since the first video I've done on this, and I just wanna answer some of those. I'm going to take you through it as I get her off and then we're going for a run out on the coast on the reef with my little bloke. Alright, let's roll. One of the big differences is you can run with the motor already on the back so you don't have to go carrying the motor around and have a look at this. I've got a dust cover on top which is like a security blanket. Keeps everything pretty much dust free and keeps the eyes off all my gear. All my gear's in here. But to get in here, you've got to be like a ninja. You've got to jump up on the car, jump up on the boat, and then be able to get in there. It's a tough task if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, I've got it down pat. It takes me about five seconds. But, um, yeah, it's a fantastic little way to travel with it sitting like this. One of my favourite things about this setup. Everything's in here ready to roll. Right, well, the first thing I love about it is it's all just on a push button with a winch system, so I'm not loading things with my back. I just pull her out, or if you have her on a slight decline, and it just rolls straight out under tension with the winch. It all runs by the push of these buttons. There's no lifting, it's a wireless remote system and it's not breaking my back. How easy is that? Now I've got my trailer, I can go wherever we like. It's a registered boat trailer. I've got lights for the back of it and we're ready to roll. Right, the other piece of the puzzle that's been worked out just beautifully is this. So have a look, that's my Minn Kota mount at the front here that sits above the line of this tinny. I've got rails on the side here for the kids so they've got something to hang on to with a system that's upside down. These little things protruding over the gunnels of the boat just make for an absolute nightmare getting the thing on over rollers and things like that. All that's gone, no issues with anything above that gunnel with this system because the boat's sitting upright in the right position. That keeps all the dust off and is like a security blanket, like I said. And if you come down to the back here, I just drain it with my bungs, the motor's already on there, so you can run everything super simple like this. Now this trailer is fully registered and I didn't have to clap it all together on the spot or back at camp. The only thing I've had to do, come down here and I'll show you, 
these little wheels, they go on and it's just three little push-ins on each side with the, uh, with the circlips and she's on. She's on rollers, nice and steady. It's really well constructed. I've dragged this thing over beaches, on corrugations. I sit it at about 80 when I'm running along the roads and it just, it's performed fantastically well. So I'm really happy. Obviously it's not like my regular full drive style boat trailer that I've got back on the coast, but uh, I look after it and it hasn't been an issue at all. So we've been able to go everywhere we've wanted. So there it is, you can see everything is in and just travels on the boat and uh, it's been fantastic. Having the electric motor, being able to fish with an electric all the way around has made a huge difference to my catch rates but also my fishing experience. It's almost, you can do it, but it's almost impossible. Massively frustrating just with an outboard, trying to fish along edges and cast lures along banks and things. It's, um, it's been a game changer. And having this set up the way it is, so it's nice and quick and the kids are in, they're not all just hanging around the ramp for an hour while I unload everything. Uh, gives us more time fishing and uh, means that we do it more often and everyone's enjoying themselves. Having my electric motor, those of you that have followed my channel might know that I've cut down my electric motors. I've modded a lot of motors over the years for my kayak fishing, the one I've got through the guts of my feel-free kayak. And this one, it fits this way through here to travel, and then it's up the front on the bow. And because it's a shorter shaft, I don't get the vibration over the edges here. I don't have to worry about that. I'm only ever in pretty calm waters, so I don't need a super long shaft. And that means that the head of the motor sits lower so that I can really get into my casting and different angles and skip casting low along the front of the bow without clipping the head of the motor all the time. So that's a big part of what's been happening with the mods and getting the system right for casting lures on this boat. All right, that's it. I'm going to get my little bloke in the boat. We're going to go for a spin and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Any questions that you've got, I'd love to read them in the comments. I try to get back to everything that I can while we're traveling and uh, while I've got some range. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this system and what we're doing. I've got lots more coming, guys. There's loads of fishing action in the next couple of weeks. I'll see you in the next video.